chart. Hello everyone, Kitsu Art here with another art video. Um, I was hoping to finish this more sooner, but 3D modeling has been keeping me quite busy. If um, you follow my Twitter account, you can see what I was working on. But also, this drawing took way longer than I thought it would. It took about 10 hours and 30 minutes to actually finish it. <laughs> So I've been playing Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition and I'm still not done with the game. I'm mostly playing it when I Twitch stream. It is pretty relaxing to play this game. And so far I am enjoying it. I have played it on the Wii a long time ago, so I know how it all goes. But since my most popular drawings seem to be about Nia from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on Twitter, on Twitter pretty much, I decided to draw Melia and Nia. Reason? Well, they are both protagonist rejects. <laughs> they both they both pretty much like the protagonist of their game and pretty much they get rejected. They the protagonist already already has their eyes on somebody else. And they're both cute characters as well. Both Melia and Nia are pretty cute. So the way I start my drawings now, I used to start with two sketches. One for one sketch is for the character pose, and another one for those small details like hair, face, and clothes. But I believe I'm doing three now due to how many details the characters have. Then I add a fourth one to have it all detailed and finished before I use the vector layer. Usually sketching could take me up to about like an hour to do but sometimes it could take longer depending on how much detail the character has I was giving it some thought about what these two would do if they were to meet each other. And this is what I came up with. <laughs> Melia would probably be brushing Nia's long hair and probably make it look like her own hair. <laughs> I was also deciding if that curl or ball hairstyle thing, I don't know how hairstyles, I don't know hairstyles, but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, I was deciding if I was deciding if Nia should have a huge round curl or two because uh, she has a lot of hair. So, so I chose two. Um, don't know why, but if I made it big, then I would not have to add much since it'll cover some of her body. Now I feel like I'm confusing my viewers a bit. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about I don't know hairstyles. Melia will obviously be enjoying her time with Nia because in the game she gets along with Ricky, the hero pun, because he's soft and fluffy. So why would Nia's cat ears not be soft and fluffy? Nia of course would not like getting her hair brushed too much. If you have a lot of hair and brush, yeah that hairbrush will pull some of your hair and it doesn't feel good. I was deciding on a pouty face for Nia or gritting her teeth, just <laughs> dealing with the pain of the long hair being brushed too much. I could easily change the, that expression though.
Also, I am kinda struggling on finding my coloring style. I feel like I can sketch just fine, but coloring is the toughest part for me since digital art gives me so many options to use. And I'm like, what kind of tool should I use? Should I use something new? Um, I do play a bit with the tools, so I pretty much made one with paint and apply tool, the coloring part, and another one with just the basic paint tool. I was also messing with uh, Amelia's um, wings that are on her hat, as you can see. Uh, I believe I tried messing with some stuff while working on this drawing. Like I tried to make some of the feathers be a little detail with the brown, with the brownish light color and then just add like shadow to it while you can still see the lines. But so far, I'm not sure if I'm nailing it, if I nailed it or not. I sometimes feel like maybe I should try to just stay with the pen tool for coloring, but I see a lot of great art on Twitter and I just feel like I'm not good at coloring, so I'm trying to make my art sometimes be as good as the ones that I see from others. Well, there you have it. That's my digital drawing of Melia brushing Nia's hair. <laughs> I'm sure they're pretty much gonna be having fun if they were to get a, get to meet each other. <laughs> well, please be careful out there. Wash your hands, wear a mask outside, and carry hand sanitizer with you to prevent yourself from getting sick. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to poke that like and subscribe button. Share with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves, guys. See you later.